Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple 12 volt. Actually, it will work for 24 volt if you use the right resistor. Now all you need is a some uh, electrical tape, a, an alligator clip, any alligator clip, uh, depend on your application of course, and just a pen. Actually, I'm sorry, the pencil or a pen, regardless, uh, doesn't matter. And an LED. And I don't know, this is like a uh, five inch, uh, 18 gauge copper, which I strip it off from um, uh, uh, a wire. And then some sort of wire. This is just regular hookup and the length, that's depending on what you need. I think I made it like four feet. Because that's all I really needed for. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to build it right now. And uh, for the deluxe version, I build it same principle. I just add this in. Um, the stupid um, uh, puncher. Uh, a poker or whatever you call this thing. To a, There's an LED light and that's all it does. It just lights up. That's it. When this would touch... This will touch the negative, and this will touch the positive, and that thing will light up. That's it. But that's how basically it, it happens. I'm going to put the camera up here. And so we can start making it. I hope the camera is going to stay. Because I'm going to tape it because my tripod is not working correctly. I don't know how to... Well, actually, I do know how to adjust it. It just... Uh, I'm pretty lazy to get it out right now, so I'm going to work with what I got. Um, of course, I have a soldering gun, but if you don't, um, you can actually wind the wire. But since I have the soldering gun, uh, actually, sorry, you're going to need a, a wire stripper too. Anyway, I'll show you really quick how to do them. Uh, you want these, this to be on the positive side because the resistor has to be on the positive side. Because what happened is, if there's any electrical interferences or something like that then that means your uh your negative and you won't burn your led so that's my best suggestion there for you um you will need some soldering paste and some solder if you don't have that at home you can actually use um electrical tape to do it but since i have the soldering here i'm actually going to use that and basically you're going to solder this part here to there. Um, I'm going to turn the fan on because I don't want the smell. I hate the stupid smell. Um, so it's going to suck out some. Uh, uh, I'm going to cut it pretty much to there so it fit nicely in here. See that? That's what's going to basically going to look like. So I'm going to solder it really quick onto that. That's it, two seconds, and you can see it's stuck together just like that right there. Then I'm going to add my LED since I want uh, the positive over here, so I'm going to measure this right here. So since it's right there, so I'm going to cut that off right here. I just use a scissor to do it. I don't care. Now just touch your soldering paste. You're going to need soldering paste. Um, and then the long wire is the positive on your LED so make sure to touch that and then solder them together just touch it really quick on this side and then bend it over here and touch it really quick again touch it really fast just like that hope you can see that's the best way I can demonstrate on that one uh, when you take the pen out if you want to use this side you're gonna have to actually drill a hole through the eraser so you can feed the wire through uh, but since I don't really want this part I don't care for I'm just gonna use tape to do it so now you would have to saw the, the negative here to here so do the same thing, strip that out, 
so it can fit nicely. Best thing to do when you're soldering the rule this is to they call marrying. So to add the soldering on here first. Okay, just like that. And then touch your other one together. Like here. I had to add soldering onto that. And then touch this here. Now you complete it. Just like that right there. Okay, I'm going to bend it a little bit because I have to fit into this stupid thing. So it will look something like that right there. Then you insert it through. Actually, you have to take this part. Remember, get a pen or a pencil that you'll be able to take both sides apart because you you find out in a minute. You would stick it through here, just like uh, the lead pencil. Just like it's... Uh, okay, go through there. Then decide wh how far you want this test apart. I just want a little bit. So uh, I have to cut this the tip off so it can fit in here as you can see see it so it can fit into there now if you want to secure it see how long and short I want if I want to look like a pen that's what it's gonna look like but I just want a little bit bigger so then I can just touch to where I want to test you know um, so I'm gonna leave it a little longer but because I want to secure this part so if it's right there I'm gonna actually going to bend it a little bit so that way it won't come backward on me okay but before that I want to put some little tape on there to, to hold on to it I can actually cut this part right here the leftover and then just shove it in there but I think that's more work I want less work so I'm gonna take a little tape here and I'm just gonna roll around here right here and make it like a, 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 a little washer like okay put it in enough that you'll be able to shove that in there and it'll stay permanently just like that now this is a little tight not too tight so I'm gonna add a little bit extra in I'm, I guess I'm just making as I go but um I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I can always add it later or shove something in there to make it really tight. But uh, since I'm doing it now, I'm gonna make it permanent, so I'm just gonna stick that in there. If you have, like, uh, um, for instance, if you have, like, um, shrink wrap and stuff, you can actually shrink wrap it too. But I just wanna make this as easy as possible for you and just regular household stuff. So it'll be less than, you don't have to buy anything extra, it's supposed to cost cost less on this one. So now see how I have, I think I have too much now. So i take some crap out. Let me take some of it out. It's a little bit too thick now. I shouldn't have put that too much. I should have put little by little so it can be time less consuming here. Sorry. The camera's not in good position, but uh, I'm pretty sure you got the idea. Anyway, so I'm going to cut that off a little bit there, and I'm going to shove it back in again. And I want to see what it looks like. Let's see. Uh huh. Now it looks nice and tight and clean look too. So pull to where you want, I guess. Um, I'm going to use a, a Y to push this in a little bit further because I want to go in a little bit further than gosh. Camera's falling off. I had to tape this stupid thing. But, uh, okay, maybe a little bit better now. Alright. So, I push it in up a little bit. I want a little bit further down so I can see the light. See how I choose the green? You can choose any color LED you want, but that's basically that's what it looks like right there. And then you just put your tip in. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna lock it. So I'm gonna use a plier. I'm gonna bend it this way first. Okay. 
really tight and then bam, bend back again so there's no way it's gonna go backward that's it basically it's gonna lock right into there and it will never come back out again you can't push the other way so make sure you like you push where you like see how I did it just like that and that's it you heard that little snap and that's what basically is gonna be just like that right there so how easy that was and then now take this out here slip this in now strip this wire Add some soldering paste. And then solder it in here. Okay. And then you make sure you clamp this in so that's permanent. It'll stay in there forever. Make sure to put where the, the little plastics are. So that way it'll hold on to a, the plastic rather than the string. And this is going to be really prolong the, the connections. Uh, if you don't have the soldering gun, you can actually just fold it in half. Strip it, fold it in half, and then clamp it. It'll work pretty much the same thing. So you don't really, in naturality, you don't really need the soldering gun. You can actually wind this all up by hand into each of those. So you don't really need it. But anyway, that's it. And then what you do is you get a, uh, like a, a tester right here. And then just touch it. Let me see if I'm able to see in the camera. Just touch a positive and negative. And see how it light up. See? And that's it. That's conclude this video. And see, it looks like a pen. And if you don't like this part right here, you can actually uh, take your wire cutter and cut to where you want. So that way it'll be nice for you. But I want it to be longer. Because then if it gets corroded or something and I don't want to clean, I can just cut this part off. But that's how quick and easy that is. Right there. That was it. And like I said, if you want the deluxe version, you can actually make that yourself. Just like this one right here. Same principle. But just on this thing instead. I don't like this part because then if sometimes I touch the negative or whatever. But some people like that pointy tip right here. But that's pretty small enough right there already. So it's pretty much the same principle. And plus I, I did this with the, with the banana. So that way I can actually extend this longer right here, this wire if I want to. Uh, so that's pretty much convenient. But you can step it up if you want and just use banana clips. Uh, this is the, the female one and it's the male one. And then you just add that on to that. So it would be just, but it's pretty much the same principle as that, just right there. But that's how it looks like. Uh, pretty neat, huh? And cheap, ch simple, but effective. And... I'm going to put this right here, and that's the finished product right there. Cheap, simple, and effective 12-volt, uh, 18, 24-volt tester. That's it.